hi guys welcome back to my channel for today's video we're going to be doing this Arabic inspired makeup tutorial perfect for any occasion so if you would like to know how to do this just keep on watching using this palette from Buxom I'm gonna be taking the color lingerie lover and apply it all over my crease this is going to be our transition color and it's just gonna help us blend everything together nicely and all the makeup brushes that I'm gonna be using for this eye look are from Sigma Beauty next I'm going to be applying this shade called Spoiled Sexy and this is going to go mainly in the outer corner of my crease and I'm gonna be blending this in with my E40 brush Taking Wild Nights, I'm going to pop it on the very outer corner of the crease and make this eyeshadow pop a little bit more as well, intensify it and blend, blend, blend. Now going back to Lingerie Lover, I'm going to be blending all of the hard edges on the crease. You really want to make sure that this eye look is well blended. To highlight the brow bone, I'm going to be taking the shade Champagne Boss and this is just going to brighten up the eye a little bit. I'm going to be using this concealer from Gorgeous Cosmetics and this is in shade Light and with a flat brush I'm going to make a cut crease. As you guys can see, I'm really making short strokes and doing this very patiently because <laughs> you either ruin the makeup look or you either get it perfectly as you guys can see i'm blending this concealer with my fingers and applying a little bit of powder to set it now with an angle brush and taking wild night's eyeshadow i'm going to pop this into the inner corner of my eyelid and then with a flat brush I'm going to intensify this color a little bit just on the inner corner. Make sure that you leave a space in between your eyelid and your crease to be able to make the cut crease very sharp and sort of a unique makeup look. Now I'm going to be using this Boxum eyeshadow palette. This is called May Contain Nudity and I'm going to be using this shade Gold Status and apply it on the middle of my eyelid. Going back to Wild Nights, I'm going to pop this color on the outer corner of the eyelid now and I'm going to make a wink. And you want to make sure that this is very defined and I'm doing this with the help of an angle brush. So now I'm going to be using this purple eyeshadow from La Belle UK, it's called Palm Royal and I'm going to apply it on top of that purple shade that we applied first and to make the gold eyeshadow pop a little bit more I'm going to be using this bronze gold pigment and I'm just going to apply it with a flat brush and I seriously love love this shade. And then with a really thin brush, this brush is by Sigma, I'm going to be sharpening this cut crease a little bit with a little bit of concealer. And then I'm going to clean the outer corner of the eye with a sponge by Veramoda. This is my favorite sponge you guys, it gives you such a sharp line, I love it. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of mascara to my top and bottom lashes. To clean any fallouts, I'm going to be using a little bit of concealer and blending it in with the same sponge as before. And then you really want to set this to avoid any creasing and to make sure that the concealer stays put the whole day. For my lash line, I'm going to be using Wild Nights again and apply it with a pencil brush all over the lash line. And on top of that, I'm going to be using Am Royal eyeshadow to make everything match and look beautiful. And of course, I have to add a little bit of glitter. I'm using the Bewitch Glitter by Sigma just on the teardrop, you guys. And it totally completes the makeup look. 
On my waterline, I'm going to be using a little bit of the gorgeous uh, concealer, but you can definitely use a white or nude eye pencil for this. For falsies, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Lashes in Carmen. Moving on to the face, I'm going to be using the Glean Body Radiance in Rose Gold and apply it all over my face. This is going to give me a fabulous glow and please make sure you apply this after your primer. For foundation, I'm going to be mixing these two foundations by L'Oreal and Kat Von D foundation and apply it with my Baramona sponge. I seriously love mixing these two foundations together because it gives me such a full coverage. It is time to contour and I'm going to be using these two shades together to apply it on the cheekbones and I'm blending this in with the same sponge. This sponge is fabulous and I really recommend it to you guys. Taking this light shade, I'm going to sharpen that contour a little bit, just a tiny bit because you don't want it to be super sharp. And then I'm gonna contour my nose using the same two shades for the cheekbones and I'm going to be blending everything in. For blush, I'm going to be using this blush right here from Gorgeous Cosmetics and apply it on the apples of my cheeks. Moving on to my favorite part of the makeup, I'm going to be using this Becca Champagne Pop highlighter to highlight the highest point of my face, my nose and my cupid's bow. And for lips I'm going to be taking the Labelle liquid lipstick in pink latte which is my favorite shade and it goes so well with this makeup look. And to set everything in place I'm going to be using the Urban Decay setting spray. And this is the finished look you guys, I hope you like it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. Leave me in the comments below what kind of video you guys would like to see next. I love you guys and thank you so much for watching.